What's going on guys? White with White's Lawn Service here back with another video and today I'm doing my 2018 lawn care setup. Hope you enjoy. No seriously, I'm sitting out here with the selfie stick looking like a doofus in front of all my neighbors. Alright guys, so first up in my 2018 lawn care setup video is my 2008 Saturn View XR Red. It is the fully loaded edition, all wheel drive, has 123,000 miles on it now. I love this, tr uh, this uh, not truck, this uh, SUV, with, it has a sunroof, roof rack, I mean it's seriously fully loaded. The only thing that's missing is a GPS in it, but I don't, back in 2008, GPS's were not all that common. Anyway, I absolutely love this car. However, later this year or early next year, I will be selling it and getting a pickup truck. Um, I don't know what I'm leaning towards yet entirely. I made a video on that. You guys can go check it out. But I will be selling this and getting a truck. All right, guys. So next on the setup, we have all this. I'll start going over everything one by one so you can see. All right, guys. So first, we have my Snapper uh, Push Mower 21 inch. It has a 163cc uh, engine on it. It is an excellent little push mower. I got it on sale for $150. It's self-propelled. I've used this for like four years now and it's been a great little investment. I absolutely love it. Um, I might be selling it to get a Honda because I really like Honda push mowers as well, but I'm not sure. That won't be this year at least. That might be in the future unless it craps out on me. All right, guys, next we got my Toro Time Master. This is a 2014 Toro Time Master. It has a 190cc engine on it. It's a 30-inch mower, self-propelled. You push that little lever, and uh, it moves. Uh, it moves at your pace, which is really helpful. It has that, that little blue thing you see is for helping you get up hills. So I absolutely love this little Toro Time Master here. I'm actually, I like it so much, I'm getting a second one this year to help with all my smaller yards. A lot of yards I manage are like trailer park sized yards. So these things make those yards go by super quick. I can get in and out of all the little obstacles that a lot of people like to put out. So I'm going to be getting another one of those. Alright guys, next we got my Troy Belt TB430 handheld blower. Uh, this was a good blower for the two years that I used it. But I'm actually going to be selling it. And in about a month or so, I'll be getting the Echo PB580T backpack blower. Just because I need a bigger blower for my business, especially with leaf cleanups and whatnot, it'll be nice to have a backpack blower. Actually, Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, um, channel link down in the description, he sent me a backpack blower rack for my upcoming blower that I'm going to be getting, which is super nice of him. I'm going to be installing that on my trailer soon, so stay tuned for one of those videos as well. Alright guys, and now we have some little things. I have some trash cans here. Let me bring it a little closer. So I have my 5 gallon gas for my uh, mowers, my big one, as well as my Time Master push mower. My little one gallon one, this is for an edger that I use, so it takes 40 to 1 ratio gas. Then I have my two and a half gallon string trimmer, which is my Echo SRM225 gas, and my push mower and Time Master gas, another two and a half gallons of that. All right, guys, so here I have two Echo SRM225 string trimmers. Uh, they are really good trimmers. I actually, I like them, on the, well, I was, as you guys can tell, I like them enough. I have two of them. One's a 2016 and one's a 2017 string trimmer. So I use this one for most of the season, and I picked this one up right by the end of the last season. And uh, I like them a lot. They're great. You can't really edge sidewalks with them too well. But other than that, they're really good trimmers. Um, I also have them held by Packham Trimmer Racks. I got this for, I think, $60. You can pick up a three-tier Packham Rack for $65 on eBay. Great little rack. They come with actual locks. I don't have to worry about people stealing my stuff, though. So I have the little carabiners to hold it in place. We are a very small little community where I mow. So I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But yeah, two at the restaurant, two 25s, and my Packham trimmer rack. All right, guys. Now you guys are probably wondering this trailer that I'm using. It's actually a five by eight trailer, and I have my lawn care signs. These are vinyl yard signs. I ordered 50 of them last year. I've used most of them so far, and I put two of them on here, held in with a piece of plywood behind it. And they're great for advertising, as you guys can see. It's very easy to tell. About the same size as my tire, actually. Um, so it's very easy to tell. Um, I'll be selling this trailer soon and getting a 5x10 or a 6x10 trailer. 
I'm not quite ready to go up to a 6x12 yet. That'll probably be the year after. Um, just not quite there yet. I don't want to be towing that with this car. So, this is my 5x8 trailer. I'll be selling that to get a 5x10 soon. I also want to show you guys real quick my 5x8 trailer. This little bucket that I have here, it's actually a plastic part in the front, which I use to hold my handheld blower, gas, you name it. Um, it's held in with a piece of plywood on the bottom of it, bolted down to the tongue of the trailer, um, which is like the frame, so it's really sturdy. And then I set all my stuff in it. It's also secured by hooks that go to the top little rail of the trailer as well. So in case you guys are wondering what that is, now you know. Alright guys, and the big thing you probably all clicked on the video for, for the most part, would be my stand-on mower. This is my Bad Boy Outlaw 54-inch stand-on mower. 2014, I got it last season for $3,000. It only had 250 hours on it, I believe. Um, it's an excellent mower. I had one issue so far, the safety feature for one of the bars that goes down here did not work properly, so it wouldn't start all the time. But once I got that fixed for like $150, um, it now runs absolutely great, can't complain. It has the Kawasaki FS730V engine on it, which I think is like a 23 and a half or 25 horsepower, somewhere in there, um, engine. There's plenty of power for this. It does a great job. Tires are really big, the biggest on a stand-on mower I've seen yet for this size. And it's just an overall really great stand-on mower. Can't beat it, especially for what I paid for it. And lastly guys, I have my Echo TB22EC kind of hiding back here. I didn't really have it in a picture because this is going to go like immediately this year. Um, this is my um, edger. It used to be my string trimmer. Now it's just my edger that I use with the trimmer plus edger attachment. I'm going to be selling this to get the Echo PE225 edger. I believe that's what it's called. Um, so I'll be getting that. Maybe a little bit more powerful of an edger. Not sure yet. But anyway, I'll be selling this soon. I have it listed now actually for like $35, maybe $40. Somewhere's in there. With this and the trimmer head. Alright guys, this, is my, this was my 2018 lawn care setup. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm standing out here like a doofus. Um, I'm getting looked at by all sorts of neighbors. Anyway, uh, if you guys want to see what kind of goals I have for the season, I'll put that video at the end here. You can click it up in one of the corners. And anyway, I hope you guys have a great season. Hope you all kill it out there this year. Let me know what you guys are running this season in the comments down below. Or send me a link to your video and I'll be sure to check it out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great 2018 lawn care season. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.